In this video, I'm gonna share with you my experience with these shoes, giving you my likes and dislikes after two years of pretty much solidly wearing these shoes. And at the end of this video, I'm also going to unbox a new pair that I recently got for my birthday. I've worn a mixture of this shoe and the Primus Lights for the last two or three years. And I think I've had these bad boys in particular for about two years. I've worn them pretty much on every occasion, on every terrain. I've ran in them a fair bit. I've done every kind of workout in them. I wear them for work and I wear them on the weekend too, which has given me a pretty good picture of what I think they're good for and what I think they're not so good for. So first of all, I'm not paid at all to make this video, nor have I got these wheels, uh, sneakers or kicks for free. So this is a completely honest review of my Vivo Bev shoes, particularly these Primus Trail Firm Ground versions. Let's go over what I don't like or wouldn't recommend them for to start off with. Firstly, these Primus Trails let a lot of water in and get pretty cold for daily wear in the winter so they're fine when you're running in them because your feet are warm you're warm especially if you're on, the, you're on the trails they're particularly great for that but if you wear them day to day like me they're much more suited to the summer months where the breathability is actually a great thing this isn't a particularly valid uh, negative point i know because they aren't exactly designed for day-to-day -day wear but that's what I've been using them for along with kind of an active lifestyle. But I found that they're, they're great for this. And if you're generally pretty active, they're super good, just not in the winter months. Now, to be honest, the only other thing I can say bad about these shoes is the price point. They're expensive, super expensive. So when I first started looking into barefoot shoes, I thought it was gonna be great. Like surely they would be cheap if there's less material um, you know there's just not much to barefoot shoes you would think they're quite cheap so you know thinking back to my school days of wearing plimp soles the problem is I don't think they're in fashion anymore and I think I'll get in trouble with the family rocking around town in a pair of plimp soles and now we've got the option of harder wearing shoes ones with better uppers better grip different soles for different terrains, all the rest of it, uh, far superseding a normal pair of, of plimp soles. But anyway, I got these bad boys at a good price, but still, especially not cheap, considering that there's not a lot to them. Now then, onto the good stuff. So let's start off with the soles of these things. So I'll zoom in, you can see the soles there. Absolutely knackered now. Um, they're ruined now, but they've lasted a really long time. They're super grippy on most things other than really, really muddy, wet stuff. I'm talking really kind of wet and muddy, but the soft ground versions would obviously be better for that, the ones with the bigger lugs, but everything else they can handle really well, to be honest. I can happily wear them in the gym, out on various walks, different terrains. I've took them camping a load. I've worn them running, I've worn them around town, and the soles stand up pretty well. And I was surprised with that. Because of the lugs that they do have, I thought they were gonna wear down pretty quick, but it took them a while to get down to that point. I don't know if you can see, but they're super thin now. So that's the soles. I love them, they're, they're epic. Um, and now let's go on to having a look at the upper. What I kind of like about the upper, it's nice, it's got great breathability, and it's surprisingly robust. I've put them through the wash a number of times and I just don't see much wear with them. You know, after two years of use, yeah, I just don't see much wear on the upper at all with these. On a previous pair of uh, Primus lights, the normal versions, I got a couple of holes in the mesh area pretty quick. Um, right around here, right around where it kind of bends either side. Um, but these ones, I haven't had that. So these seem to be much stronger in terms of the upper, in terms of the mesh. Now, the next thing I like about these is the laces. I love the laces. I'm pretty lazy and I think most shoes 
work better with drawstring and lockable type laces. It's just, it's just a fast and effective way to undo and do up your laces and they lock down nice and firmly. They did start to fray pretty quick, but they actually look uh, okay now. And they've lasted a long time, haven't snapped, haven't had any problems, haven't any problems with the lockable part either. So that's pretty epic. I'm not gonna bore you anymore with laces, they're, they're laces. Um, and generally the shoe is a great shape with a wide four foot toe box here, allowing my feet to move around, no toe crowding. So they're super comfortable and comfortable in hot conditions where your feet swell or you're in the gym and you wanna have a nice kind of plant on the floor, doing deadlifts, doing squats, anything like that, the toe box is, is really good for. They're also super light, uh, super lightweight, super duper flexible. Um, so, you know, it's pretty close to being barefoot, um, but you don't have to worry about getting a puncture when you're wearing these. Another benefit with this is they're super easy to take around with you. I've cycled to work a few times with these in, in, the, in my jersey pocket, just in the back, and you can easily scrunch them up as well, put them into a bag pretty easily without adding much weight at all and they're, they're quick and easy to slip on everything. So I think they're ideal if you want a barefoot shoe or style of shoe for a lot of things, particularly good on trails, of course, nice in the summer, great for keeping lower body proprioception around the feet, keeping the feet nice and strong, nice toe box. Um, you're not gonna have any risk of toe crowding, less risk of bunions, and just and, you know generally good for being active and, and good for the gym and that kind of active lifestyle. Now, here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. Um, I've got a new pair and I'm actually gonna keep these uh, Fergum around trail ones for the summer, even though they look absolutely knackered, but I'm gonna send them off to Vivo because they do this thing now where they'll resole them, uh, touch up the upper and sort of repair them as it were um, and, and keep them. Uh, that, and that's quite big for me really because I love a new pair of shoes. I love a different colorway. I love a different design. Um, I could easily be uh, a shoe collector. So it's pretty big for me to say I wanna spend money just to keep the same tatty pair of shoes. But they, they've been really good, last me a long time, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of them. All right, I'll open the new ones. I've got them here with me. So here's the box, pretty standard box um, so these are actually just quickly these are the Primus Light 3s all weather I don't know if you can see that all right here we are here we go look at those bad boys So they're just a black version with a really nice kind of colored sole. Um, looks like quite a robust upper. Obviously they're the all weather version, which is gonna be particularly good um, at the minute. So I'm pumped for that. All right, here. man. I can't wait to get these bad boys on. I had the original Primus lights, um, which are similar to the, the Primus trail firm ground ones um, but they just they just wore out a little bit quickly um, and obviously they've got the flat sole there rather than kind of those lugs so for in the gym walking around town and stuff i think these will last a bit better um, being all weather as well i think that's going to be useful in the winter months so i'll just wear them whilst i'm training people i'll wear them in the gym i'll wear them around town and if i'm going on a walk or anything or i'm wearing my vivos in the summer then i'll go for the the trail versions out walking um, should be more breathable than these um, and they've got really good grip on them. So that's my review of my Vivo Primus Trail firm ground shoes and just a couple of first impressions of these bad boys. I now have to go and stick them on. So I will do a, another video on, on these, so look out for that. Um, thanks for watching. If you're looking at getting a pair of these shoes, then let me know in the comments below. I like to talk about them. Um, it's a bit nerdy, I know, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's good fun. Um, 
good fun getting a new a new sneaker so until my next video have an awesome week and i'll see you then